Today we have a guest investor. He's a longtime fan of the show, has the best record of anyone attending the show, and it's me. <laughs> it's, um, I'm the guest investor today. We're going through my properties. I got in early 2021. I bought a couple of properties. We've been doing this. We've been running together for years now and doing the show for years now. And it wasn't always this way in the beginning, right? Like you didn't see this asset this way. Can you take yourself back to two and a half years ago and remember what that was like? And what was the trigger for you where you're like, I get it. Man, the trigger for me was this little exercise we just did, this thing of leverage, right? Like that to me was a major trigger on top of the fact that being in Jacksonville and having my beliefs on like where Jacksonville is going is also really, really high. But the leverage piece was the big part, right? Because for the first year of you and I working together, I'm, you know, you know how people say like, you're the average of like the five people you hang out with, like income wise, I bring that average down. But so like, I have a bunch of friends that are accredited investors and, and invest in a whole bunch of stuff that I can't. And when I'm like, putting this in front of them. I'm like, man, I got this client. It's the best, you know, like this stuff is awesome. And I want to buy it. They're like, yeah, man, but why can't I just like do this like syndication deal for 12%, 14%? Because they're comparing it to that non-leveraged money piece, which like we said, was when at the time we were putting up like nine to 10% stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So they didn't really get that part. Once I started understanding this leverage piece, the idea that I can put in, you know, 20% on a property, and now I get the appreciation of not just the 20% I put in, but the appreciation of the entire piece of the property. And I am very bullish on the idea that long-term Northeast Florida real estate is going to do very, very well based on everything that I'm seeing recognition of an urban center that has yet to really tip and is about to tip. You know, that's what really drove it home for me of, wow, this is really the place to be. And then the urgency is, Dude, stuff's going up, man. Like I'm, I'm seeing it, right? I am really like working hard to not freak out here and not think that I'm not going to be able to get my third property because I want to do it ASAP before the interest rates goes up and before prices continue to go up. Yeah, thanks for sharing all that, man. Just the- you, you, you changed my life, buddy. Take me a step farther. I always love to find out why you're investing beyond that. Like, what is your why, right? Can you take me to like what you hope this portfolio will accomplish for you and Marta? Yeah, man. Options, dude. Right. Like we're not going to have kids. We very much value lifestyle and options. And if we can get to a point where we're making five grand a month on cash flow, that really opens up a whole bunch of options, right? We don't necessarily have to make too much money to, to, to live relatively well in Jacksonville right now. If we make even more money than that passively, it's even more options. So I I would say that's how I sum it up. And honestly, man, like the reason why I want to move right now is this idea that I think Jacksonville is from everything that I read. It's just like super Nova city. That's about to really get expensive. I haven't bought my primary residence. So I know that I need to take part in that upside of Jacksonville right now in order to maybe one day live at the beach like you. (laughs) Well, I have a feeling that we're going to be doing a lot of surfing together over the next full market cycle. So I get it, brother. That's awesome, man. Let's jump in here. All right, brother. Here's the big reveal, man. Let's go. For your five profit centers, Pablo Gonzalez, here's what we're looking at. A year of a JWB client experience here. Your net rental income, just about break even, right? Which again, is right about what I would tell any client to expect after a full year of ownership, right? Performing like we expect to. You're going to have a cost right off the bat, which is your tenant placement fee. And then for the remaining months of the year, you're going to have more in positive cash flow than we told you to expect in order to offset that. And you're going to be right around break even after your first year. So I look at that and I say, that's normal, man. Tax savings, $2,335. We love that. That is the saving we get simply because we invest in this asset class and we get to write off depreciation, which is what we love. So we have to pay less in taxes for the income that we earn. The third profit center is principal pay down, $2,979 of your residents paying your loans off for you. How much do you love that, man? Love it, man. It's awesome. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Yeah. By one of the reasons we love our residents, well, one of the reasons we want to treat them like gold, it's because they help us pay down our loans and get us to our financial goals. Um, and here's the big, the big hitter, right? Total home price appreciation, $46,534. We put these numbers out here. And sometimes it just doesn't even feel 
Right. Like it's, it's such a large number. What, what's your feeling when you look at the amount that your properties have? I mean, it's insane, dude. Like I, I, I put in, you know, all in all, I guess I probably put in like 60 grand, right. For like the 20% plus closing costs for both houses. And to think that a year later, I have already almost like paid that back and appreciation is nuts. Right? Like three quarters. Of that is, is, is pretty crazy, man. And you know, it's kind of what, everybody was feeling, right? Like markets going up. I think it's going to continue to go up, right? Months of inventory is still under a month. Buddy that I know is trying to find a house, they can't. So, you know, it's very tangible, like on the streets of Jacksonville. So seeing seeing what the dollar amount equates to is really cool. And then, you know, that I love, it's funny because I love seeing that total tax savings because I've been telling Martha for a while, like we need a new bed. And I'm like, this is going to be your first year where we have the tax savings from our, from our tax return because of the homes. And it's like, boom, that's exactly what that's going to cost. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I yeah. love taking some of these profit centers and equating it to, well, this is going to pay for my cell phone for the year, or this is going yeah. to pay for my bed, or this is going to pay for a trip that we're taking or whatever, man, that, that, that makes it even more fun, bro. Um, and then inflation hedging, just an update here. The consumer price index just released is now 7.9%. That means the inflation rate is growing. Inflation is a thief. It erodes your wealth. If you have money just sitting under your pillow or in a bank account or not earning 7.9%, you're actually losing. That's why you need to be investing in hard assets that are a hedge against inflation. And my boy Pablo is, and I hope you all do too. All right, you ready for the big, big reveal, brother? Please. All right, man. When you made the decisions to invest, we told you to expect an 11.7% return on investment. Your actual return on investment, including all five profit centers, including the cost to potentially even liquidate if you would decide to do that, right? We include those costs. Your actual return on investment is 27.5%. Congratulations, my man. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That's cool, man. Talk to me a little bit about how, and I know you're a year into this, right? And we're, we're early yeah. on in the journey here, but talk to me about how this, you see this change in your life. Man, just, I look at, like, I look at that $300 of extra cash flow, and I'm just like, well, that's my plane ticket to Jamaica that I'm going to next weekend. <laughs> like, I look at, I, how I see this change in my life, Greg, I think it's, I think this is exactly what we talked about. I think it's a ton of options, right? Like having these two properties and this appreciating market and having this like equity that has accrued in just one year, right? Like in just one year, I've accrued uh, $50,000 plus of equity. That's stuff that I can leverage for other things. That's like rainy day money. That is, you know, if one day I really do want to live in North Atlantic Beach, I can like sell these two homes to pay for a down payment for my primary residence if I really, really want to. Like I, I'm, I'm, I really, I really see this as like preservation of options and seeing those numbers in front of me in just barely a year into into this investment that I know gets better with time just makes me super, super pumped about the options, right? Like about what the, what the future options are going to be. And I'm just super pumped about it, man. Like, and, and to see this right now, like if I were to liquidate right now and I made 27.5%, I really do want to be like, see dad, look, I told you, bro. You know, like, <laughs> like it is, it is kind of like a beat my chest moment because it's an unconventional approach, right? Like this, this not your average investor thing was very, very real to me, right? Like my smartest guys in the room, corporate lawyer friends and corporate finance friends were just like, nah, man, you know, like that is a risky thing. And my dad, who I think is the smartest dude in the room too, is like, eh, yeah, you know, like I, I, didn't, I didn't have a lot of support, but like I, lucky for me as the host of this show and seeing behind the scenes of the type of company that JWB is and talking about it year after year and, you know, like week after week and just really buying in on this thing. Like, I'm just, it's very validating, man. Like, I feel great. You talk about it being validating for you, man. I just want to tell you how, how much it means to me to have one of my best friends, trust me. Makes sense. You know, like that's the currency, you know, when a new client comes in and they trust us, right. That's the currency that that matters, right? There's just, it's just such a, an awesome feeling and responsibility that we love and that I love. And I appreciate your trust, man. It's been awesome. 
right back at you, bro. This has been a, this has been an incredible experience all the way around from the ability to be a part of this community that has grown and like prove this thesis of we can build a community based on a zoom call. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> to to like changing my financial future, to understanding the right way that you're supposed to build a business and core values and mission driven stuff and you know all these different things, man. It, bro, I'm glad we get to have this moment. You me too. You you me both, bro. You me both. All right. Thank you, community. I'm not shy about saying this. This idea that like I really do believe in this putting the majority of your eggs into like a very safe basket that has the highest risk adjusted ROI you can, and then exposing yourself with like 10, 15% of your portfolio to positive black swans. I think there's, there's limitless opportunities of that right now in a, in a world of rapid change. I like companies that are chasing category design. I like the crypto space. I think we're about to see the biggest kind of like Web three is coming. We've all seen web one. We've all seen web two. Go make some money in web three in some way. But to have 80 to 85% of your portfolio in this like asset class that you know is going to do really well for you, that's going to preserve your options, that you're going to get like 20% plus ROI if you're holding on for a, for a full market cycle, to me is a no brainer. And I'm just, I feel really fortunate to have found a vehicle to do that. Via JWB, and, I, and I'll be honest, right? Like this has me looking at other things the same way, right? Like are there other turnkey providers in other markets that have cash flowing things? What else is out there in like the world of alternative investing? I'm very hot on now. and It's really changed my life, but it wouldn't have changed my life if I would have thought that it was a lot of work to start. And you guys made it really, really easy because I'm kind of lazy outside of the stuff that I love to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful that you, Alex, and, uh, and, the, and the Adams have put together this unbelievable machine for a, a regular fellow like me to, to call myself a real estate investor, man. Thank you very much. Our pleasure, brother. It's been awesome.